everybody, I'm Cassandra from Craft to Believer After and welcome to another very quick video for this week. Now I have been extremely busy finishing up my last week at work before the holidays which is always a little hectic so I didn't get quite as much time to crochet as I would like but I did manage to finish a very good project that is actually going on holiday with me. So this episode I'm going to first show you super cute bear pattern that I made and then also what will I be taking with me craft wise on our holiday to France um, because I have convinced my husband that it is impossible for me to spend an entire week on holiday and not have access to any yarn or any of my crochet tools so I might not touch it at all but friends rather safe than sorry so I will be taking a small little parcel of crochet goodies with me just in case but we will get to that after I show you this very cute project now I decided uh, a while ago that I really wanted to take something with me, a crocheted item, to take photos with in front of like landmarks. I don't know, the Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe, the Louvre. Um, probably to the utter horror of my uh, husband and my children, <laughs> but they have to understand that they are living with a very passionate omegurumi maker and I cannot go to Paris without taking photos with a fantastic backdrop of some or other project. So as soon as I've taken a photo of the guy that I'm going to show you now, this cutie that I crocheted, uh, I will be posting it uh, on my Instagram. So you will be able to see him in probably one or two different backgrounds. But let me show you what I've made. I'm super, super happy with how he came out. It is a bear because I am the bear girl. What did you expect? And this is him. Oh my word, this was such an adorable pattern. Let me show you what it looks like. So it's not really, <laughs> it's not really dressed very summery. And I mean, we're going on a summer vacation. And this poor guy looks like he's heading uh, to somewhere a lot, lot cooler. Uh, definitely not, uh, he's not on summer holiday, but be that as it may, I really like him. And then after I crocheted this entire cute outfit, my son said, well, if I now had to do a long sleeved polo neck outfit, why did I not make it like that traditional red, uh, like a, give him a red beret or a red scarf with a blue and white striped shirt, make him look French. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but I really like the colors I chose for him. So he is a little tourist going with me in uh, my bag. I will be carrying it around with me uh, to sneak in a few photos with some fantastic backgrounds. But this is him. I will talk about the yarn that I used just now. He did come out a little bigger than I thought. So I originally I was looking for a smaller pattern, something easy to carry around with me, something to just quickly pull out of my handbag, take a photo and then shove him back into the handbag but he is a bit bigger um, but I will still be carrying him around with me so these cute little pants um, now he is made in my absolute favorite yarn which is rainbow cotton 8.4 it is a fingering weight um, cotton uh, what do you call it a yarn weight number one so it is extremely thin and this is it this is one of my favorite favorite colors to make bears in it's like a very nice caramel color it is uh, color number 88 so you also get this one in rainbow cotton 86 which is a sport weight and rainbow cotton 88 which is um, a DK weight so you get this exact same color in a few thicknesses uh, but Obviously, those of you who've been with me for a while, you know that I love the fingering weight yarns. So this was the color, the main body color for my bear. 
then for his little shirt I knew I wanted to do variegated I love using variegated yarns on projects and I used this yarn that was uh, sent to me in happy mail from my friend Pamela in the UK she sent me a few skeins of gorgeous gorgeous variegated sock yarns this one a beautiful color uh, beautiful color changes I really like the browns and the blues I like how it worked up you can't really see it but there's like solid stripes and then you get this um, more spotty looking part and then you've got some more solid stripes I absolutely loved how it worked up and then I just used some of my own plain blue to give his little uh, collar or his little scarf cowl um, and then just a dark brown which was this color for uh, color number seven uh, the rainbow cotton again for his pants so those were the colors that I used and I used a 2.5 millimeter hook I'm really really happy with how he turned out so keep an eye out friends uh, I will also post some photos I think on my community tab I know a lot of people are not on Instagram and I would really like to share his little trip to Paris with you all right so that was the one project that I completed now for my little trip uh, as I mentioned I told my husband it would be impossible I've never since I started crocheting ever been on any holiday where I didn't take yarn with me so I fully intend to buy <laughs> yarn while we are on holiday if I manage to find um, some local yarn shops close to where we will be staying I definitely want to see if I can buy some local yarns while we're there but I did try and limit myself uh, and not just take like half a suitcase full of yarn and stuffing which I could have easily done I could easily have worn the same outfit for the entire week but take multiple multiple skeins of yarn <laughs> but I decided that's not why I am going on holiday it's not to crochet the whole time it's if I've got maybe in the evenings a bit of time here and there uh, so I am limiting myself to one crochet society box full of goodies now this is a spoiler alert this is the new crochet society box so if you do not want to see what is in the next box if you have not received your box yet please click off now there are spoilers in here you will be seeing the yarn that is in the next crochet society box I'm not going to do an unboxing in here is not the full crochet society uh, all the things that you get in this month's box it's just the yarn um, I've taken all the other things out so it's not an unboxing video but if you want to be surprised with your crochet society box and the yarn that you will be getting uh, in this issue please do not watch any further I don't want any hate comments telling that I spoiled your surprise please because I'm gonna show the yarn that we got in this box because that is what I'm taking with me as sort of a little crochet challenge you know if you've been here for just a tiny while that I do like the odd crochet challenge and the yarn that was in this month's crochet society box is fantastic it is right up my alley it is the perfect perfect yarn for me it is yarn that I love love using but I will show you this everything in here this is the only items that I will be taking on my holiday with me so let me quickly show you what I'm taking all right the first thing is I've packed myself a teeny little bag a notions bag this bag I made from uh, I made it over Christmas last year from some beautiful fabric that my friend Caroline uh, had sent me over Christmas so I made myself little notions pouches and inside here my favorite uh, <laughs> no name brand of uh, 2.5 millimeter crochet hook I've got some other sizes in here as well um, I've also got I've got a spare uh, 2.5 then I've got a 3 millimeter and a 
five. So these are the hooks that I'm taking with me, although I can almost guarantee that I will only be using this one, <laughs> which is my favorite 2.5 millimeter. Then I'm taking some, like I'm taking this little container full of uh, needles that I got in one of my um, VIP cross stitch kits recently. I'm taking a pencil. You never know when you might be needing to take notes or mark something off. I'm taking a little snips. Then this was in a previous crochet society. I think it was in the one of the boxes or one of the advent calendars. In here, I've just got some safety eyes and then some stitch markers. These little plastic cheapies that I love. So that is what is in uh, this little zip thing, just in here. And then for accent colors, now these ones, if you buy from Hobby often, you get these points that you can use in their point shop. And all of my points have gone towards buying <laughs> the, these teeny tiny little skeins of cotton 8 for its friends cotton. Um, it is tiny, I think it's 10 grams or something. It's like teeny tiny little balls of uh, yarn. And I spent all of my points buying white, pink and black that I can use as accent colors. So the embroidering on the eyes and the faces. So I don't need to use my big skeins for them. I've got some embroidery thread, but I like using um, the 8.4s for it. So I've got these mini skeins that fit in easily in bags, and these are for accent colors. So anything that I will do on eyes or faces, little cheeks, noses, this is what these three little mini skeins are for. And that is what is in my little Notions bag. So I've got one little Notions bag. Then I'm limiting myself to one plastic bag of stuffing. Now this guy I did try and fit in as much as I possibly could. Got all the air out that it is nice and flat. And then the yarn. As I said, friends, if you don't want to see what's in the next box, look away now. Um, but in the Crochet Society box, they put in cotton cakes. Oh my word, it couldn't have been a more perfect yarn box this month. I love it. It is a sport weight cotton in a nice neutral color. So if you get this whole big thing, it's uh, sport weight, 100% cotton, 150 grams, 450 meters. So you get a white one and you get this gorgeous, gorgeous purple uh, cake. So this is the only yarn that I will be taking with me. And I want to see what project or projects Maybe one, maybe more, maybe nothing. I don't know, friends. It is a mystery. But I will, of course, show you uh, what I got up to during the holidays. So that is my little challenge kit. The only amount of yarn that I'm allowing myself to take on my holiday. So one crochet society box full of yummy, yarny goodness. And I'm super excited to see what I will come up with. So even if I don't finish my projects during my holiday, I will continue with it once we get back. Um, because that yarn is just so glorious. It is perfect, perfect weight of yarn. I love fingering. I love sport weight, which is a, a yarn weight number two. Um, my favorite type of yarn. Cotton, thin. I love it. I cannot wait to use it. So... I will update you guys on what I end up making with that gorgeous two cakes of yarn. All right, friends, that is it for this week. So keep an eye out for this guy and the amazing backgrounds uh, that I'm planning uh, for photos for him. And I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I hope you have a fantastic holiday period for any of you that uh, are on summer holidays, anyone going away. Stay safe, enjoy, relax, 
uh, get some crafty time in, get some family time in as well. Families, friends, they're the most important things we have. Uh, I'm very, very blessed with my family. I cannot wait to spend this time with my husband and my kids. It's going to be fantastic. I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, and until the next time, friends, stay safe and stay crafty.